Hey, what's up YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people! And today, we'll be reviewing something from 2001. I got 90% complete. It's Car Robots. 2001 Car Robots. Sorry if I repeated. Ultra Magnus from Robots in Disguise 2001. And I was glad to finally get the parts for this dude. Sure, he's missing the grill and part of his gun. But I'm so glad to have him at least at 90%. And he can roll out, which is pretty cool. He can carry other vehicles in his car mode. I will show that off before we do comparisons with this guy. So, yeah, we're going to show that off. Since I don't have any robots in disguise cars, we're just going to use some Earthrise vehicles. Because that's important to have at least a very good comparison. And I've memorized this one's transformation. So, yeah. But you can fit an Earthrise vehicle maybe into his vehicle mode. So we're going to pull out Wheeljack. To have... Riding along in Ultra Magnus. If I can get him to peg, fussy figure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm having a bit of fussing issue, but yes, you can fit Wheeljack in his vehicle mode in Magnus. It's a thing you can do. And you can put two other vehicles. I'm just going to bring some simple bots to show that off. Like Wind Charger. But this vehicle is very compatible with other figures. Even though when I don't have Sideburn, Prowl, from 2001, Robots in Disguise. But it doesn't mean it ain't compatible with other figures. I think it's possible if you put your mind to it. <laughs> Come on, Wind Charger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he can fit Wind Charger. Can go for a ride on Car Robots Ultra Magnus. You are probably wondering who else can take a ride on Ultra Magnus. Come on, Braun. His gun is being stubborn tonight. <laughs> and Braun is being a little bit stubborn as well. <laughs> as soon as I can peg his... And he can carry four Autobots into battle or three with these Legends class figures. It's a thing you can do with Car Robots Ultra Magnus. And yes, there was a lot of fussing with vehicle modes tonight. <laughs> but now we're going to take them out of this review. And we're going to compare him next to another Ultra Magnus in vehicle mode. and get things pegged in. But here's what he looks like next to Transformers Animated Ultra Magnus. 
And they look good together, if I do say so myself. And that's all there is to say for the vehicle mode comparison. <laughs> now we get down to uh, transformation. We're gonna gonna unpeg this section like so. Unpeg. A lot of unpegging here for certain. We're gonna disconnect his arms. Yeah. Like so. And we're going to fold his head like so into this joint. Don't forget to flip out these tabs, which covers his weight section. And there we are done with the upper body, almost. I forgot to unconnect his legs, his leg connectors. And there we have Ultra Magnus, partly transformed. We're going to disconnect these sections, fold them down. And this is going to go flush against the back if I can get it to work like I want it to. Uh, a lot of fuss in here. For sure, definitely a lot of fussing with this old figure. Sorry, I hit the tripod. Man, this transformation is fussy, but we got it. Here we have his upper body all ready to go for his robot mode. And this is parts form, and I know, but it's an old figure. It is what it is. Now we're going to split his legs here. Yeah, there we go. Fold this up. Flip out this connector. Hold down this part, and there we got a leg. All done. Second verse, just like the first. And flip up the connector. And there we got a connector already. And we put this on the other side. Sorry, I get confused easily. This is an old figure. And now we're going to connect his legs into their sockets. There we got one leg plug plugged in. Sorry if I have to correct myself. And here we have Car Robots 2001. Ultra Magnus in his glory. And he does not want to stand today. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. He is not wanting to stand today. I think that worked to straighten out his issues. <laughs> Gonna have to lean him back and raise the camera. And he is a pretty big figure if I do say so myself, and we can give him his gun, so he can use his main gun. And he can hold the gun, just involves pegging them into the pegs underneath his arm, like so. Those are the round pegs, we need the square pegs here. And his wheel is trying to pop loose on the tire. Sorry about that, folks. Oh. And his part popped loose. There's going to be a lot of fuss in here. And now i got to reconnect that.
Can we get his gun mode to work? We'll see. But the way he holds this thing is pretty neat. And we're going to peg this into his arm. Like so. Oh, and pieces are popping loose. I'm sorry about that. He is very fussy today. Empathy on very. Yep. But now, finally hold his blaster. Yeah, the way I have them connected to it is the way it's supposed to be done. And then we peg it. Come on. Come on. Peg in. There we go. The blaster is pegged in. Now, he is holding his Omega Blaster. And this is a big blaster. He can barely hold this thing. For an old figure, he can barely hold his blaster. But yeah, sorry if he was a lot fussy on this review, but he can totally hold his big cannon and be like, take this, ruination, pew, pew, bang, bang. And now we're going to get on to comparisons with some other... Ultra Magnuses. The only two Magnuses I have so far. Here is Transformers Siege Magnus next to 2001 Car Robots Ultra Magnus. And yes, he is bigger than him. And that's that comparison. Now we're going to compare them next to, next to animated Magnus. Sorry about that error moment. As soon as I can transform him. Sorry, a lot of fussing with this figure. There's the off switch. <laughs> But Magnus is starting to be a little bit of trouble.
Magnus, you fussy boy. I finally got him transformed to compare him. Here he is next to Transformers Animated Ultra Magnus. Sorry, a lot of issues with this one today. But that's what he looks like next to Ultra Magnus from Transformers Animated compared to 2001 Magnus. You're probably wondering, where did I get this figure? I got this figure from the Goodwill Outlet Incomplete. And I got the parts from eBay to complete this figure. Would I highly recommend this figure if you're an Ultra Magnus fan like I am? I'd say he's worth the pick up. I am definitely going to try to pick up the other Magnuses, like Prime, maybe. And that's all there is to say for this video. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out.